Hello guys, my name is Desert Tiger and welcome to episode 12 of Green Project. As I promised in the last episode, we're gonna make a cozy bed and then we're gonna make a beehive. So let's see what do we need for the cozy bed. Okay, so we need something. <laughs> Why doesn't want to show me what I need? Okay, cloth, cotton, metal grid and some iron bars. Right, so let's take the cloth, cotton, metal grids and iron bars. That makes sense, that stuff to make a bed. So let's make our cozy bed. All right, perfect. And we need also pliers. So we can remove the old bed and place new one. Okay, pliers, let's remove our what? ugly bed and place our fancy bed. Oh, wait a minute, can I place against the wall? Hmm. Probably not, because I tried with the, my old bed, but let, let's see. No, see, this, this thing is on the way. Storage for the wood, all right. That's fine. All right, so we can put that bed, the old one, in the storage. All right, so we got the bed. So let's get our beehive. So the beehive, to make a beehive. It's gonna be husbandry. No, actually husbandry, not farming. So we need planks, hay and metal grids. So we have the metal grids, so let's grab the planks, hay. And we need pliers. And we're gonna make a beehive. And now we're gonna place beehive in the front of over here, but what I'm gonna do, I'll also like to say I press some stone paving and I wanna place the stone paving in front of the beehive, which I believe we could place beehive, yeah, I'm gonna place over here. And the reason, see, because if I place the beehive first and then I try to place something in front of that, it was not gonna allow me to do it. So this is the way I can place it. And the reason I did that, because if we have like trees and they're gonna grow green, I mean grass or any type of plants, they will cover that spot. And when the bee is gonna make a honey, the honey is gonna be in front of the beehive. And if you forget to grab the honey, or you're not gonna see it, they will, the honey is gonna despawn. So for me to see it, I mean, it's better if that spot is not covered. I mean, the tile is not covered, so you could clearly see when the honey is going to be ready. Because you sometimes may forget. And even if it's covered, it's hard to see it. So that's why I placed that uh, tile in front of that. So nothing's going to grow on that tile, and I can see the honey. <laughs> that's kind of... Uh, I hope that explanation wasn't that so bad. All right. So what we're gonna do also, we're gonna make a fire lamp, but uh, first I need to repair my site because it's almost broken, there's only two users. So we're gonna fix our site, fix or repair. And okay, so let's put it back, all this stuff, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need planks, glues, iron bars. And by the way, as you may notice, I started doing uh, some preparations to upgrade my tools, which I'm planning to upgrade my site because I'm doing a lot of cutting the grass, cutting uh, dry grass, cutting the plants. So I need to upgrade my site to tier 3. And of course the tier 3 required... Why is the site tier 3? Uh, 
yeah it's required iron and the clay so right now I have a some clay soil and some ferrite so I have to convert ferrite to iron and clay to clay soil to clay and we have just one extra ore extractor and it's gonna take a while so my plan I'm planning to build another one or extractor to place to it so we have two instead of one so much quicker will be much quicker because that's the reason I want to do that because now uh, there'll be also we have a pickaxe to upgrade and then I have an X that's with the tier 2 so to upgrade tier 3 also we need that so that means I need a lot of oak trees which look at that I placed so many oak trees now so I just trying to also get rid of the bubbles so I just from placing the trees on this side so there's a lot of oak trees so I'm gonna get rid of those bubbles over here and plus we have a easy access to the other house but today we're gonna visit the first house which is down below and for that I need the lamp because it's so dark I mean even if you want to visit every house and by the way as you notice also I placed two flower trees that's what we call a flower trees not flower bush and also put the cypress tree between them so that means because they still flower trees spawn beetles so I'm kind of lucky because uh, it seems like the beetles didn't eat that much or they're not spawning that often but anyway see I got lots of yellow bushes that's for the bees so I can like grab them I mean harvest them since we have beehive we can place the bees and you need 50 bees for beehive to make that to start making honey so we need a lot of yellow bushes plus we need firefly bushes but only five to make it a lamp and that's a good opportunity because it's now it's almost dark so now we can go even during the night time to visit the house so let's make a fire fly lamp headlight lamp so we need that we need that uh, and I believe I need also wire yes ah, I remember the stuff <laughs> I don't have to look in the menu okay so we got our headlights headlights <laughs> like in the car now I got we got the lamp not the headlights right so let's test see it's so dark so now we're gonna put the lights firefly headlamp wow it's so cool all right I'm gonna eat right, I should put my I should put some stuff away I can drop that and actually these three bees I can donate to beehive all right so let's go to the new house hope we'll be, we'll be able to navigate through that bubbles yeah and the house should be right there okay and there's no more bubbles can I go through no I have to I will go around it around the track but, uh, anyway I still need the wood oops all right so let's go inside let's see check out this house what do we have over here tables drawer Ooh. see since we have a bigger backpack so now we can uh, have more stuff there's nothing here what's in the oven wow nice food extra food beautiful 
And we got the salad recipe. Add to cooking pot. Let's learn the salad recipe. Oh, we got recipe add that new salad. I know what kind of salad it is, but it's not a really decent salad, but always something. And we have the letter. Letter or something to read. I can't find precious seed grandpa hid so well. I hope I didn't bury it with him. P.S. Don't lock the toilet door because it's broken. <laughs> oh. Right, so there's another room. So let's see what's on the desk. Nothing. Bed. Go to sleep. Actually, yeah, I don't want to go to sleep. Wait a minute, do I have... Yeah. Let's see if I can disassemble this. No. What about this? No. But there's another bed which probably I can disassemble. But I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with this bed. Hmm. Nothing in the... Storage. And there is a... Ooh, there's a dead body actually. Alright, so that's the water. I could take that water, but are you sure you want to drink that water? See, we got the water jug, but like, see this water jug is 500 units, and this one, kitchen fountain, is 1000 units, so this is better than this. This I can use for the cooking, you know, that kind of stuff. Alright, I guess we, that's the kitchen, and that's the our living room. Where's the exit? How did I get? Oh, okay. So I know. I I know where's the exit. Have to go through the kitchen. Then there's like dining room, I believe, and this is the exit door. Did I check this? Yeah. Yeah, I already checked those. All right. There's nothing here. All right. So we got some stuff, and actually we could see one more house. So let's go to this house. Let's see what we got over there. Nothing. What about here? Nothing. Oh, this is some kind of storage. Uh, nothing. Nothing there. I believe I went through that stuff already. So there's one more house. Yeah. Right over here. This tiny little think Ooh. pork and beans I wish I could make this type of food so because this one is not gonna expire not only like jars that'll be maybe in the future I'm gonna be able to do this All right, so there's one more house actually tiny little house over here yeah there's one more now we got another jar Nothing on the, but we have so much stuff over here. See, kind of ravioli. I got another water jack. Beautiful, and I got the chicken food also. Wow. All right, so let's go back. And all right, welcome back in my house. I put all the stuff away. See, we got the extra bunch of cans. See, I wish I could make such a, a type of food, like I said before. Uh, what we can do with the, our enhanced kitchen, we can make a jars now. Uh, I believe, yeah, preserves. Where well, we can make a jars? Uh, and drinks, yeah. So we can make a dra jars. We can need to just sandbags, and we can make a jars, and we can preserve the food. We have the tomato preserves. That gives us minus ten. Radiation points, which is very good. This one gonna give us minus eight. Throwing but required time, so we're not gonna use that. So this is much better stuff. But also like we can have a rat in the jar, chicken or boiled ham. Ham is the highest one, 200 points. Like, uh, but take a look at this. I got full, my storage is full. So we're gonna build another one. See, I make some cornbread. 
and after actually when you're gonna make the cornbread we're gonna decay after seven days so I so far what I know this is the longest type of food which is gonna decay after seven days the rest of the other food is gonna decay after five days and also there's one more food in the kitchen it called where's the plant plant based yeah bean patties they're also gonna decay after seven days like onion soup it's good too but it's gonna decay after five days unless something got changed but uh, I'm gonna make one onion soup because I do have onion I believe here it's growing right over here see if you move mouse over it doesn't say what type of plant is growing but I know this is the onion and also I plant some coffee so we can work during even night time since we have the lights now and we have uh, coffee so I got one extra coffee cup cup of coffee and so we have extra beans coffee beans we can do this but let's make another storage which this is the biggest one Herbarium is the big, biggest storage, so we need 20 planks, one clay and 15 nails. One clay and 15 nails, and we need also hammer. So let's put all the stuff. And as you notice, see, there's a purple flash. That means we got strike by purple mushroom so I believe you'd like to see the purple mushroom but before we're gonna do this uh, we got extra storage so now I can access two storages now so that means I have extra space so that means with the purple mushroom we need tiles tiles gonna actually get rid of the mushroom I'm just gonna put this stuff away and I guess the tiles should be do-it-yourself tiles yeah I mean concrete slabs so we need the concrete slabs which is very easy to do so let's do it right away so I'm gonna show you how to kill the mushroom purple mushroom so we need we need the hay or today I should have some hay How much that's not enough yeah I do have extra okay hey let's grab this clay too so let's make a tiles and now let's look at the let's find out where the purple mushroom is I got the raven I mean crown not the raven let's see what he dropped uh, just the organic waste and I need to drink time so let's make it a time real quick and we need the water I don't have water so let's do this also, we're gonna eat the squirrel. Alright, let's look for that purple mushroom. Well, there's no way to exactly know where the purple mushroom could be. The only thing what you can do just like walk around the map and trying to find it. All right, we found our purple mushroom. It's actually next to our water well. So to get rid of that, I mean, you can easily walk on that. It's not gonna hurt you. The only thing is it takes a while, it's slow. So you have to cut the grass because you cannot place the tiles, concrete tiles. So you need to cut the grass around the purple mushroom and of, of course you have to take the grass away and then place the tiles and I believe yeah, 
that should be enough tires to place yeah have to take that and and this is the proper way of covering the purple mushroom that means that purple fungus is not gonna spread and that mushroom is gonna be killed soon I hope and that's how you can avoid the purple mushrooms and suggest every time when you see the, the purple flash it's a good idea to have some concrete tires somewhere in your storage and just look for the mushroom That's all right thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time bye bye take care